Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 2. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, in the last episode we did quite a lot of stuff actually. We uh, came to uh, Villa Auditori. Uh, we made our first assassination of Vieri de Pazzi, or our second one I think, because we did kill um, the guy in Firenze. Uh, and we've done some upgrades as well to the town. Uh, so. We have collected some codexes. We need to go to um, Leonardo da Vinci uh, to decode them. But let's talk to Mario first. It's you, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. He didn't touch a book then. I swear he just pushed the wall. <laughs> Maybe that's all it takes to open the secret passage. You just you just give it a little push. Right, come on. If I'm supposed to be following you, at least go quickly. So yeah, we spent most of our money upgrading the town. So there's one of every shop now. And we've also unlocked the well, which we're going to have a look at uh, in a bit. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honour the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In so, order yeah. to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. As Rebecca put it, we have to get that armor. So we need to find the six crypts. Uh, and we need to place basically those seals uh, on those uh, statues and then that will unlock the armor. The armor is really, really cool. It's really, really good. Um, but let's go and find the well. I think the well is round this side. Or maybe not. Maybe it's around the other side. No, it's around the other side. Um, so yeah, we, we unlocked the well, we restored the well in the last episode, um, and I'm pretty sure there's something secret down the well. Uh, so let's just double check that before we go anywhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's something down here. Yes, there is. Here we go. Uh, okay. What are you... I can't see when you're like that. Right, uh, okay. Do we climb up here? Yeah, there we go. Is it just a chest over there? Is that all we're... Is that all we're going for? Oh! Oh, that was lucky. Uh... Not sure that's where I want to go though. No, let's let's climb back up. I was a bit eager then. I uh, jumped before I looked where I was supposed to be going. Right, let's come up here again. Come on, there, there we go. Uh, can I grab that? I can. There we go. Drop down here. Ooh. Forgot to hold eight. Jump. And jump. Jump. Jump, there we go. Oh, two chests. 
Not just one chest, two chests. 302 florins and... Okay, so that was 600 florins. I'm pretty sure we paid something like 3,000 for restoring the well. So I'm not 100% convinced that it was worth it. Um, although I don't know how much it increased the value of uh, Monteregioni uh, by. So maybe it was worth it, we'll see. Um, okay, let's find this next mission. Let's get the story on the road. Not sure what our next mission is going to be. Other than... Hang on. Is it basically to... Yeah, so we're going to Florence. I think we're, I think we're going to see... Um, Leonardo da Vinci to get our... Uh, codexes. So we've got the knife belt upgrade, so that should be free, because I think I got that in the Uplay rewards or something. So that's the knife belt upgrade. We can also dye our clothes, which I think is really cool. Some of these are really, really nice. Um, we're not going to spend our money on that, though, um, just yet. Uh, that's the thingy. Uh, here's the art merchant. So we can buy some treasure maps. So yes, we will spend 271 on the treasure map for Monteregioni. And 81 florins, that's cheap. We'll buy that. Uh, can't afford that one. Uh, ooh, that's expensive. We'll buy St. Francis in Ecstasy. And then we'll leave it there. Those paintings should hopefully have... 33. They only increase the value by 33. That's pathetic. Uh, oh, there's a chest. So that, that's where the treasure map is handy uh, because it does uh, show you where all those treasure boxes are. So, right, let's go to Florence again. One thing I do like about The Witcher 3 that uh, got horse riding right is that if you're on a road, you can just press a button and it will follow the road. Don't need to hold any other buttons down. Leonardo. Where are you? Are you gonna, I think he's in his shop. I think that's where you go to get codexes decoded. We've actually got quite a few, I think, because we got the four that we picked up around Monteregioni. We got the one off Vieri, and then we also got one in uh, the town that Vieri was... Um... Oh. We've literally come to... Oh, okay. That's all right. We've come to Leonardo's shop already. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. Two years? But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Two years? Anything for you, my friend. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a two-year jump. Exciting. Blimey. This one is tricky to break. What have we been doing for two years? Use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time. Just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Okay. So yeah, I think we're in here. We've got some different assassination techniques. Basically teaching you how to play the game. Uh, that being said, some of these are new. Um... So uh, it's worth it's worth 
sort of doing them, I suppose, for new players of the game. So we can assassinate from cover. We can assassinate from a ledge. And final one, which I think is my favourite, is we can assassinate from above. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. A fox. Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. That face te the, let me get my words out. That face texture looked really good then on Leonardo. Uh, I was very impressed. Right. We must destroy this blasphemer. Let's uh, make our way. Hang on. Where's the nearest viewpoint? Because I can't quite see all of the city. Uh, we're closer. You know what? Let's do the viewpoint first. That will. That'll make it easier to roam around the city. The armor plate makes it possible to deflect weapon attacks with the hidden blade. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a feather over there as well. Well, we're not going to go and get that. We're going to climb this uh, tower to the viewpoint and then get on with the mission. Look how beautiful this game is. It's so much better looking than uh, than Assassin's Creed 1. Such a step forward. Like, it was two years later, but it's just better in every way. Locate level here. There he is. Hang on, hang on. We've got to throw money. There you go. Here. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. There's what do La you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo. Let me know when you are ready. And we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Okay, before... Oh, no, he's just down there. Okay. I was going to say, we'll, we'll go and do another viewpoint, but as he's here... Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's your problem. Oh, 
Oh, there's a boat there that could have been looted. Right, come on. I don't know whether it is a... Oh, no, he's waiting there. Is this teaching us the parkour what mechanics? I said to keep up with me. Yeah, but you won't let me move. Okay, now we're into a race. Oh no, that's not what button I wanted to press. Come on. near where I need to get to? I've no idea. Come on. I've only got 25 seconds. There we go. Oh, that was easy. And I screwed up a little bit. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Pope. Hmm. Una fortuna. Okay. Let's just have a quick look at the map. Okay, I'm going to go and do that viewpoint and then we'll come back, seeing as it's just there and I can see it. Oh, hang on. Right, where, where? Oh god, he fell down. No, don't sit down, eagle. Oh, the eagle's inside us. So there's a part of me that wishes I played a little bit of this game without the HD mod on because I really want to know how much that does because I'm really impressed with uh, how this game looks. Um, considering it's 11 years old now. Oh my goodness, it's 11 years old. Wow. Okay, but considering it's 11 years old, um, I'm really, really impressed. I think it holds up quite well. As I said, how much of that is uh, the HD mod? I'm not sure. No, my arm is not broken. Okay, so we're in the catacombs. And we've got to infiltrate the Templar meeting. Okay, so the guards will attack on sight. So I need to be careful. Okay, there's the next lever. So my guess is this is just a, a smooth run round, yep. And then that lever will open that gate. I wonder, like, who these people were, whether there's, like, whether they're anybody in particular, or... Ah, there's a hay bale, so we can, uh... Yeah, I know it's a hay bale. Right. 
now. How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. Well, unfortunately for Elena, you're not going home. Right. Is there a... Dive? No, okay, that's just a hide thing. Okay. Let's have a look around. There are no guards in here. Hmm. Okay, I can't do anything in there just yet. Oh, there's some bats hanging upside down. There they go. Ah. Bye-bye. I didn't realise there were guards still in here. Okay, that was quite close, actually. Is that all? No, there's a chest there. Right, just in case we're on a time limit, when I pull that lever, let's, uh, let's do that, get those 250 florins. Yeah, that's it. Oh, what we what was Ezio? What was that? Now I've got to go all the way around again. I don't know what Ezio was doing there. Right, let's try again. No, don't do it again. I'm really looking forward to see how uh, Ezio progresses and sort of how his, his armour... Oh no! Oh, for... How his armour progresses and things like that. Because uh, I can't remember how he ends up, other than like Ezio's armour at the end, uh, Altair's armour at the end. Now let's see if I can actually make it this time, rather than doing something stupid. Watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post. So help me God. Okay, so basically we've got to do this silently. 
Are they all down the bottom? I'd assume so. All three of them are over there. That's a bit unfortunate. No! I've screwed this up. Yeah, I've screwed this up. Come on. No, dog. Saverio, I'll be oh. back with the other guards. Yes, I think I got away. No, you didn't get away, but I'm also being chased. I screwed that up so much. Uh, hang on. Oh, it won't let me have my daggers. I don't know what's happened to the camera. Come on. He's not going to get me. Run past that. I mean, this other guard post is a long way away, but I screwed that up so badly. I should have seen that coming. Leave me alone! Come on, where's the tackle? Oh, screwed up the game. Oh well, at least I know I can take out guards in a sword fight. Come on. Other guy in the beret attack me. And then I can take out that guy. No, you go away. Let me attack. That's it. I need to... Ah, hang on. I'm pressing the wrong... I was holding A. You need to press A. That's why I wasn't being a... I wasn't able to do the dodge. Uh, right, open the door. Where are we? Uh, up here? Mm. Eavesdrop on the Templar meeting. Okay. Okay. Omnipotentes, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, Descendat Super Vos et Maneat Semper. Bernardo. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift 
You mean the Pope consents? He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible! The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. guide us. Open the sarcophagus. Ah, so each of these catacombs then I'm guessing has a uh, sarcophagus. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. Yes. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Cool. So yeah, this is where we get the one of the seals for. Um... Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, I wonder where the exit is. <laughs> Seal of Darius. Oh, look at all that money we've got. And we just got another Francesco will be and when. But what is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but what the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. We got double hidden blades now. Yeah, we do. Ha <laughs> ha. Cool. Oh, look at that. And there's a viewpoint right... Oh. There's a viewpoint right... This isn't going well, is it? Uh, oh, hang on. There is... Oh, I need to go to the chest as well. Get our money. But, before I do that... Oh, 75 florins. Oh well, that's something. But, there is a viewpoint right here. Which is what I was trying to say. Uh, and there's a ladder there, which would be an easy way up. What are you there? Uh, hang on. I want him caught now. No. There we go. I don't like the way you have to lock on to them first. Uh, let's run up here. There we go. There's always one side that you can go all the way up on. Uh, it's just trying to work out which side it is. Oh, and the eagle's landed again. Okay, where have we got to 
go. There's a codex over there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to come this way. We're going to get this codex, then we'll do the viewpoint. What's that? Assassin tomb. Okay, we'll do the codex, do the viewpoint, and then we'll do the next memory. Right, codex is over this way. Ah, I've disarmed you. Oh, I totally messed up my counter then. What's... No, what? Okay. That was really weird. What can we buy here? Not that I'm going to. Have you got any new stuff? Okay, so we've got some medicine pouches. I don't really want to spend money on that. Got some new outfit colours as well. I'm more interested in art shops or art merchants. Um, tell you what, we'll just rip that down whilst I'm here. No, you're not dreaming anything. No, I do not want a weekly bleeding. I don't want to have leeches put all over me. Um, tell you what, the, the medicine in this era was, was a very uh, interesting time, shall we say. Uh, right, is this... Uh, Right, that's the only way in. So. Oh, look at that. Double air assassination. Can you get better than that? Right, there's another codex that we'll need to talk to Leonardo for. Uh, but. I said we were going to do that viewpoint, and that's what we shall do. Uh, where is it? Over here. Uh, where is it? Is it that? Okay. It's quite a tall building. Hopefully we can uh, find a way up. Am I, I might be misremembering, but I think this is one of the, uh, if not the tallest building in the game. That's actually really difficult to climb. I think you need to climb it from over there. So, uh... yeah, I think. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I think you need to climb it from this building. So if I can find a way up this building, then that brings you halfway up that building, and I think that's the way you climb up, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think you have to jump across to that window. Because I don't think there's actually a way up from the ground. Oh, that being said... Uh... Is there a big enough window to climb through? Doesn't look like it. Maybe we get in from the next level or something. Yeah, we are very high up now. There's definitely a chest in there though. Here we go. This will be how we get to that chest. So we got that one, but then, yeah, I thought I saw another one down there. 
Here we go. Get these while we're here. No, that way it's yeah. There we go. Make our way back up the inside. Whew. Right, I think. Yeah, we can come around here. We are seriously high now. Look how far below the ground is. Okay, this is scarily high now. Oh look, and we've come out on the right side as well. Right, let me just, before we synchronise, just make sure there aren't any more chests in there. No. Nope. We are so high. <laughs> and jumping off this into a bale of hay is... Uh, yeah, that, that, we're really going to survive that, aren't we? Okay, here we go. We missed that. We totally missed that. And then he glitched at the end. Right. Let's... Get Viaggio. Ah, hang on, this is Leonardo's place. Right, well, while we're here, we might as well get this codex... Com um, Changed. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! -ha, you found another one! How exciting! If you transpose this word and move this line to the left, it's deciphered. Cool. There's the codex page deciphered. And let's start this mission. Locate Francesco de Pazzi. There he is. There's Lorenzo and his wife. Lorenzo de Medici. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crepa! Ah. Traditore! Giuliano, no! 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 Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. Fuck! Not if I can have anything to do with it. Come on, somebody attack me. There we go. No, I swear I countered that. Seven out of twelve. Come on. No, stop hitting. Stop hitting Lorenzo. Lorenzo, counter kill. It's the easiest way. Oh, kicked him in the nuts. All right, ten out of twelve. One more. There we go. Now we just got to kill Francesco the Patsy.
Come on. Oh, I've got to defend him. He's got a sword. He can do this himself. Let me kill Francesco. Right, attack me now, come on. You saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. Uh, people I trust there. Can you? Ah. Okay, now we've got to escort Save Lorenzo me. back to his home. Alright, come on. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, Signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. Francesco de Passi! I'll kill him. I'll wipe his entire family from the city. They'll be erased! We are that heavy, Signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. You're almost there now. Oh, here we go. I've not forgotten how to win. I am not going to So be it. Now, be off here. Oh, hello. I'm more than capable of. Oh, yeah, when you fight with hidden blades, the. The kills are brutal. Right, Lorenzo, follow me, because we're literally there. Follow him. Lorenzo has been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Polizia, open the maledetta porta. By the Christ, greatest, come in, quickly. The city is at war. Hurry. Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh. Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. They're very blunt, aren't they? They, they don't care if they kill other people. Um... Oh, how close is that viewpoint? No, that's not what I wanted. Right, that viewpoint's just there. I can't resist. We'll come back and uh, and kill Francesco de Pazzi in a minute. But first, we've... Uh, we've got to do this viewpoint as it's here. Apparently there's a glyph as well, but... I'm not interested in that right now. There's a feather. Mum, we've got a feather. Okay. There we go. Wow, look, I've just noticed how many florins we've got. We've nearly got 10,500 florins. That's crazy. Uh, right, let's talk to these guys. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! Okay, what's our mission? Find and kill Francesco de Pazzi. Well, that's simple enough, isn't it? 
Right, oh look, there's a chest. <laughs> Time is of the essence. No, there's money to loot. Okay, I might rip down some posters on the way just to decrease our notoriety. Thing going on. I just ran between the... Hello. Oh no, okay, somebody else comes in. No, don't kill the Medici soldiers. They're on our side. <laughs> uh, no, out of the way. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, right, I'm going to... Can I cut through? I can. You again? Why aren't you dead? Man, slaughter him! Oh, wouldn't it be great if we had a gun right now? Uh, okay. This is quite conveniently placed. Or laid out, should I say. So... Oh. Okay, I think these guys' routines is messed up. Oh, no, I'm still on... Let's try and fight with a dagger for a little bit. I haven't used that yet. Oh, nice. Oh, in the back of the neck. And those two are scared and they run away. What great guards they've got. No. He should be dead. Like, if he's not dead. Hello, come on. Ooh, slice across the net. Right, let's switch to a sword. Lovely. Right, where is he? God! God! <laughs> There's no need no to save you coming. now. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Oh, you going into the haystack too? You're not the only one who can do that trick. Oh, what a surprise, we caught up with him. Nope. Oh, I killed the lady! No! No, I wanted to kill him! I didn't mean to kill the lady! Oh dear. Like... Can I... Oh, I miss. Oh, 
There we go. Just do it sensibly, Luke. Use your double blades. Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Elio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiesca de pace. This game is a lot darker than I remember it. I don't remember it being this brutal. Right, what I'm going to do to end this episode, if we don't get fast travelled anywhere, which we might do because this is the end of a sequence. Yeah. What I was going to say is I want to go back to Montero Gioni and um, there's a, I don't remember there being a first person camera in this game. Uh, yeah, I want to go back to Montero Gioni and hand in those codexes and buy some more upgrades as well as collecting the money from the chest, uh, which we need to do. I did like the way the Animus put together the world. Oh look, we're back where it all started. Right, there's Medici. No, it said up was to change into first person camera, that's a lie. Uh, right, I'm going to go back to Monterigioni. I'm not going to uh, talk to Medici. So, where's the fast travel point? Okay, we're back in Monterigioni now, uh, or very nearly anyway. Uh, before I do some more upgrades and have a look at what we can buy, I will buy the lot. Oh, they're a lot of money though. Right, we won't buy those paintings. I don't think they're going to be worth that much. Um, I want to get the money from the chest, but we'll get the. Um, uh, what do you call them? We'll put the feathers back, we'll put the uh, codexes on the wall, we will put the seal in the chamber and then we'll collect the money. Right, let's put that one, I think it's like one feather. Yeah, one feather. Oh yeah, this is our bedroom up here. I haven't shown you this yet. Uh, I think it's up the ladder. Yeah, so this is our room. So we have portraits of everybody we assassinate um, in our room. Uh, we've got a little desk. We've got two chests. Oh, with some decent money in them. There we go. Uh, and I think other stuff comes in this room as well when, uh, as the as the <coughs> building gets upgraded. Right, let's. The quickest way down to the codex room is like that. Uh, interact, there we go. Wow, look, we've put loads on there. Was that seven, I think we had? No, five we added. Okay, we come down here and we'll put the seal on. Ooh, is there a. I think there's an assassin's tomb. Um, right, you're the one with the hidden blade, so it's your one that we need to place the seal onto. Yeah, I think there's a... Apparently there's a chest here. I'm not sure where it is. Right, there's 4,000 in the villa's chest. I think it is time to uh, 
collect the money from the chest. And then immediately... No, don't do that. And then immediately spend it again. Right. Uh, where's the chest? There we go. So we've got a decent amount. 16,500. So... I think some I'm going to do this, some uh, renovations. Shall we take a look at the list? Yeah, I think I'm going to do some renovations rather than upgrading the things again. So I want to do the mines because that's an, another hidden area. Uh, we will. How much have we got? Yeah, we'll do the church. You know what? We might have enough. For nearly all of it. And I bet the brothel's just a bit too expensive. Right. One We're going to get job. those last few florins. We've increased the value by 14,000. Ooh, is that another statuette? It is. Oh, there's another statuette. Oh, I didn't see who the first statuette was. The house is still looking very shabby. Uh, no, that's only an exam and I can't place. Uh, no. Maybe I have to... Oh no, there we go. Place statuette. Oh, we got both of them. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? <gasps> 2,000 florins. Very nice. Right, as we're here, we might as well get this chest as well. <laughs> See, this is my problem, is I get very carried away with this kind of thing. Ooh, gold chest. 606 florins. Okay, Claudia, where are you? We'll have a look at the book in a minute see how much money we're making. I think it was something like a thousand and something every uh, every 20 minutes. Uh, no, there's no money in the chest. We need to talk to Buongiorno. this guy. Would you like to take a look at the list? Serezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Okay, we can now buy the brothel. There we go. So, everything is now renovated. Uh, all we need to do now is upgrade the shops, uh, which we can do with the tailor and the doctor. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll actually see if we can buy some weapons or anything. So let's talk to Claudia, see how much money we make each, uh, or every 20, uh, 20 minutes, not 20 seconds, wow, that would be amazing. Uh, 4,061 uh, florins every 20 minutes. Very, very nice. Uh, I will take that every day of the week. Um, so. Uh, we're actually nearly halfway for the codex pages, which is amazing. Um, cool. Right, let's go and have a look. A presto, Ezio. A presto, Ezio. Uh, let's go and have a look, see if we can buy any weapons or armour, uh, and then we will end the episode there. And if we see any more statuettes or chests on the way, we will definitely pick those up. Actually, let's just have a quick look in the church. Because there should be something in the church that we've just renovated, surely. Uh, up there. There we go. No, nope. Let's go.
So we'll get some of that 3,000 back. That's 10% of it. There we go. So we've got, we got 20% of uh, our investment on the uh, on the church back. And... Oh, there it is. We've also got the military barracks and uh, I don't know whether I doubt that will give us any chests or anything. Anyway, I said we were going to... I said we were going to buy some stuff. There's a statue at... Neptune. Oh, sorry. I am your lord. Right, what can we buy? I uh, don't need to repair armor. Ooh. Health plus one, resistance plus two. Oh, we can afford that. Okay, that's two seven. We can actually afford both. Ah, uh, you know what? No, we'll buy those. And then let's just see if there are any weapons that we can't afford. We can get a knife, which will give us one speed and one deflect. Arr. Go on. We'll buy the. No, no, we'll buy the leather van braces. Yeah, we'll buy the leather van braces. We'll complete the leather collection by getting the leather chest guard um, as soon as we can afford it. Right, last thing before we end the episode. Uh, I know I keep saying that. You know what, I really shouldn't buy anything from the shops at all until I've upgraded them, get the discount. Oh well. Right, where's the Neptune one? There we go. Get another 2,000 florins. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this episode. Um, I'm really, really loving this game. Uh, I know I keep saying it, um, but it's just so good. And it just... Yeah, it's a really good game to play. I'm loving the story. Um, I'm loving all of the uh, the stuff that we're doing uh, to improve Montero Gioni. And I can't wait to carry on. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.